I think we are live. I never know. All right, yes, we're live. Hello, everyone. My name is Sarah Donato. I am the head of strength and conditioning at Seneca College. And today, the wellness post I'll be speaking with you about is post recovery after a workout. So a lot of people don't really understand um, or don't really know or maybe not understand, but don't really know the protocols that, of what you should do after a workout. And it's very important, especially as we get older, because we don't recover as quickly. So there's, I'm going to touch base on just certain things like what you're going to be eating after, when you should be eating, um, what you should be in taking into your body to help re-supplement your sodium loss. Because when we sweat, we sweat out salt and we need salt to have our bo- in our bodies. So there's going to be a couple things I touch base on, protein, um, cool down, proper stretching. So we'll get right into it. Um, one thing I want to say is when you guys are doing... Um, Anything when it comes to fitness and health with your body is listen to your body. So what works for one person might not work for another person. So what I want to make sure that you guys understand that just because I recommend something, it's a recommendation. If it's not working for you, you do not necessarily have to do it. So let's get into it. Um, Let's talk about post-recovery. I got my don't stop, get it, get it mug. Let's go. Okay, so after a workout, no matter how hard, no matter how intense, even if it's a if it's a light little stretching workout, you cool down. You always need your body to cool down. When we when we start something and we finish, we need to respect that our body is is tired, exhausted, but we need to also respect that that we're going to have to, our body needs to recover after that. So after we put our our bodies through um, a physical adaptation workout, so something that's going to to cause your fascia to tear and micro tear and micro rip because that's how a muscle grows right so what we need to do is supplement that to prevent that from being inflamed and from sore and prevent the soreness for the next day so you can actually perform your workout and you can progress and not have to take a couple steps back and not increase your workout intensity so this will also aid you in incrementing increasing intensity levels within your workout so a cool down is a must with everything you do with workouts you need a warm-up and a cool down so with a cool down what's appropriate is dynamic and static stretches dynamic stretches are going to be um stretches that are with movement based so something where it's like uh opening and closing the gate so it would be like something where you're opening the gate which is a movement where you're stretching your hip your hip your psoas your glute but it's also movement so it's getting blood flowing heart rate is rising so that's appropriate for a cool down static stretches are also appropriate so something like holding your arm in place where you're stretching out the fascia right so you have to do stretches that are a combination of dynamic and static static is more appropriate for post-workout really not before workout because it's only something you do when your body has been already heated up because if we take this when we're cold what's going to happen is strains strain strains pulls um or tears can happen if we try to stretch a muscle when it's not warmed up all right so that's something that you want to do after a workout another thing you want to do is you want to eat you want to eat your protein within 30 minutes of working out because your metabolism is still working so within that 30 minutes you're going to optimally be able to intake that protein and your body's going to be able to absorb that protein and process it and use it uh much more efficiently than if you're going to just do it in at another time not to say that doing it at another time isn't going to work but it's just ideal to do it within 30 minutes your body's working it's going to be able to intake it you're going to be able to process that protein it's going to get to the muscles and it's going to fuel those muscles a lot quicker it's science guys another thing is hydrate 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 when you're done hydrating you want to sprinkle or when you're done with your um eating you want to make sure that you're drinking and you're putting a little sprinkle of like sea salt so you want like um if you have like uh, the Himalayan sea salt is the best salt you can use. You literally take a little pinch of salt, pour it in your water and add that to your water. You're not even going to taste it. And that helps with replenishing the salts that you've lost after a workout. Also, BioSteel is also another way of replenishing. I would say Gatorade or Powerade, but it's a lot of sugar. So what you could do if you have Gatorade or Powder- Powerade at home is pour out half of the Gatorade in another bottle and then dilute it with water. So that kind of decreases the sugar content, but it also will help you get your electrolytes back up. And then protein, I'm going to touch quickly on it. I use Vega. It's vegan. Um, 
it's been proven that weight isolate is usually has more grams of protein, but this one right here has for one scoop, 33 grams of protein. That's insane. And I personally think all protein is really gross, but, um, I, I think that this is actually not that bad. So this is a chocolate flavor flavor. So I take this, I take one scoop of this after a workout in a shaker with uh, water to shake it up and I intake it within 30 minutes. If I'm not going to get uh, food, I would ideally say is take, um, I would take protein through food over a supplement if you can, because there's other benefits to food, right? You have you're eating number one, and you're also getting nutrients that are not included in protein base as well. So those are three steps that I would say really concentrate on. So cool down dynamic and static combined, and you want to hold each stretch for 30 seconds. Second is eat protein within 30 minutes post-workout. And third is drink water with a little pinch of sea salt in there. Okay. And last tip I'm going to give you, if you really want to go above and beyond is you want to drain your legs. So draining your legs is where your feet are up against the wall at a 90 degree. So say this was my back and my butt, this would be my legs up onto the wall. So my legs are directly up onto the wall and you're going to hold that for 10 to 15 minutes. You can do it right before bed or you can do it right after your workout. What that does is that promotes um blood flow and circulation so that soreness that we feel and all that toxicity of like doms of lactic acid buildup which is that burning sensation when you're working out and that causes the muscles to be sore it's it, what it does is when your feet are up there it circu it promotes circulation because it's higher than the heart so what happens is our, our heart has to work a little bit harder and pump through fresh oxygen to the blood through the blood and that will cause um better circulation better like everything overall is going to just function better so 15 minutes before bed you're just going to hang out there with your legs up against the wall, but right to the wall. And that's going to help too. And you could do that on a daily basis as well. And that's pretty much it, guys. I think those uh, four tips are pretty vital. And if you have any other questions, please be sure to reach out. Seneca Performance also puts on a lot of tips for fitness and health. And uh, my personal account, Coach Donato, uh, you can find a bunch of tips and tricks. And don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Take care, guys.